All right. Uh, this is from at that ass is my boss. Wow. What up, ass? Good to see you again. All right. Don't lose that title. You're coming in swinging again. He hasn't, the goat. The goat hasn't had one in a while. It's like Brady not winning a Super Bowl for five years. This is a good one though. His arms looking good today. It's not fall, dropping off the cliff like Max Calibran said three three years ago. No. Uh, great, great, give great Max. Give Brady more motivation. He's already a nut. Uh, anyway. We hear the constant complaint about too many movie sequels and remakes, yet it seems there are far less complaints about video game sequels and remakes. Not only is the umpteenth Zelda sequel on its way, but it is also expected and welcome. Why do you think that is? Um, so I think the big difference between movies and uh, you know TV shows, sequels, getting remakes, and video games is this. Movies... You can, if you have access to streaming, let's say Netflix, or let's just say you had an infinite amount of streaming, you can watch the old version of the movie and the new version of the movie using the exact same equipment. It's a, it's, it's just, if it's been re-released, it's just as available as the re-release of the movie. You can watch it. With video games, a lot of these re-releases are taking... Um, classic like games that were really good from a prior generation or a couple generations before remaking them or just upscaling them and putting them on new systems uh, from a light preservation angle this is a good thing because unlike movies I can't play all games from old systems okay. on a current system so it's really I, I think it, it reinvigorates people to go back and play these classics uh, people who might have wanted to play a game but never got a chance to. Um, you know, some people aren't going to go and grab a Game Boy Color and Zelda Link's Awakening and play it. Now they have that chance so to play it ease again. Of, ease of accessibility is one, one of your... Ease of accessibility. Sure. Uh, and that's the big thing. You, you, oh, and technology improving. Technology improving. So I think a lot of people get upset about video game remakes because, yes, it's double dipping. You, um, move, you mean movie remakes? No, game oh, remakes. People do. Okay. Um... I think sometimes when people complain about games, because I, I, I've also seen people complain about this. Um, his his viewpoint on it isn't quite mine in terms of what I've heard and seen. Uh, people look at it as double dipping and stuff like that sometimes. Uh, if, they, if the um, game doesn't look, you know, much better, if there's still control issues or something, they get upset with it. But buy it if you want to. Don't if you don't want to. I don't think this sort of stuff, like a full remake like Link's Awakening, not uh, that's that's some effort that's some time but like when they re-released the upscaled hd versions of shadow of colossus and ico for the ps3 uh you know that probably didn't take a lot of team resources so you're not losing games that could be made by people doing this and you're preserving that game and keeping it you're you're kicking it along so people can keep playing it sure. without having to go backwards um with movies well you got the remake and hopefully it's good but you could also just go rent, download, buy the original movie. Okay. So you, you have a different take, a, a different spin than, than I do. Um, these are entirely different mediums, entertainment mediums. One well, is one is interactive, one is not. Sure. So for movies, so for movies, uh, when I watch the original, um, the best example for why remakes are bad is is, is Psycho. Yeah. That's like the worst example and best example. Because they did the Psycho remake in the what the eight uh, the nineties they did the remake it was like a sh and it was like a shot for shot remake of it. There is no reason for that experience to have to exist if you have the original. You're not getting that That's much more. That's what I'm more... trying to say, because it's not hard to get at either. You have the original. It's not hard to get at. No, no, but, but this is different though. G games are interactive. Yes. Ga gaming when you play a game is different than when I play a game. It's always different. So therefore, even when a, when a remake is is done. They, they can change that that's a different interactive experience when you're watching a movie that's remade you, the amount of different enjoyment you could possibly get out of it, it is different because because when you game your experience is so much different than watching the movie the movies are watching the same exact story ends the same amount of time we see the same explosions we see the, we hear the same music we see the same actors performance it's all the same it, there's just less versatility there's a lot more versatility in games so I think that's that's why it's, it's more forgiven uh, as well. Sure. And when, and when you update a movie and remake it, you're doing a lot less revising on it. I mean, you're, the script is mostly the same. 
the, the pacing and tone is mostly the same on it. So would you say that remakes are particularly good for games that have not aged well? Anyway, Ian, um, but when you watch, uh, say they remade, say they remade uh, Infinity War 20 years from now, for whatever reason. Um, yeah, there'll be different actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the effects somehow will be better, even though I think talking to my CG guy, we're getting to peak CG. We are somewhat close to, we're close to photorealism right now. We're, we're basically there. Um, the experience won't be that much different than what I could have got out of it 20 years ago in the crappy 2018, 19 version. Uh, honestly, in a lot of remakes, I feel uh, game remakes. That's the same too. A lot of these don't really add they don't? anything. They're not remaking the graphics. No, like I, I mean, and sometimes it's just a okay. straight up re-release. That's, that's, well, that's another good reason. Okay, so the accessibility, like you said, is, it's, is one it's thing. It's accessibility. That's the one thing. Whereas I, I don't disagree with a lot of what you're saying, other than I do think it it applies for both games and movies. But um, it's just the accessibility. Whereas. In, in an ideal world, the well, movie is accessible both ways, whereas with games, you kind of need that remake. But the, the interactivity, we're not talking about sequels at all. Like, why are sequels okay? Well, usually when you, get, when you get to Rocky IV, it becomes a joke. With games, the interactivity keeps it, I think, fresh as well. You can do a lot more with the game versus a movie, retreading the same plot with the same actor. How many times can you resell, retell the same Rocky story? Well, now you can do it seven times. We'd have seven Rocky movies at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Actually, we've had eight. We've had eight Rocky movies now. Hey, the Cre the last three have been good. The two Creeds and the Rocky Balboa have been good. Oh, that's right. Okay, so I was like five. There were six original the Creeds, Rockies, and then, and then I forgot. Creeds. I forgot the other Rocky. Yeah. This is, so so it, it gets tougher though. Once you get to Friday the Thirteenth Part Five, it gets tougher to retell basically the same story again. With games, when people are interacting, they make their own story, their own experience. It's, to me, it's the difference between you're you're creating your own experience versus experiencing one made for you. If that's the simplest way I could I could do it. Okay.